A man is desperately trying to catch the train, and behind him is a horrible group of zombies. Although he finally got on the train, but the zombies also grab the handle of the train. On a highway in Korea, the driver's cell phone rings. Just as he was about to reach for it, he suddenly hit something. He got out of the car and saw a deer that he had hit and killed. He said, what a bad luck and left. But as soon as he left, the deer that was hit and killed came back to life and stood up again. But its eyes turned white. On the other hand, on a high-speed train to Busan, Iaku was looking for their seats with his daughter Soen. After they sat her down, the train was about to leave. Just as the attendant was finalizing the train's departure, a panicked girl rushed into the train. The crew didn't see her. The girl's leg appeared to be injured. Black veins were spreading up her body. Then she slowly walked into the carriage. The passengers around her did not seem to notice the difference. After the girl crossed a carriage, she fell to the ground and started convulsing. A female stewardess found and rushed to notify the head steward. But at that moment, the girl stood up in a strange position. The black veins had spread to her face. She grimaced and looked at the stewardess, then directly mounted her body to bite up. The people on the bus were very surprised, but no one dared to do anything. In that second, the girl jumped on the others. That's when they realized something was wrong. Everyone started to run to the back of the train. The front compartment was in chaos. People started to bite each other. Suen had just come out of the toilet. She looked at the fleeing people with confusion, until Liaku saw that the male attendant had been bitten and turned into a zombie. He suddenly realized what was about to happen. He then turned around and picked up Suen and ran away frantically. The zombies behind him came in front of him like a wave. Iaku managed to carry Suen to the safety of the train. Just as he was about to close the door, a pregnant woman came running towards him, looking at the horrible zombies behind them. Iaku chose to close the door. Luckily, Hua is a tough guy. He knocked over a zombie with one punch and forced the carriage door open. Hua enters the next carriage with his wife Kyle. By this time, the army of zombies were all crowded at the door. Iaku finds out that the zombies don't seem to open the door. The zombies had lost the ability to think. Only the instinct to attack remained. Yin covered the glass with newspaper. The zombies quieted down after their vision was blocked. Hua, who had just been locked out of the door, suddenly asked Iaku to apologize to him. But as a capitalist, who has worked in the financial world for many years, he had lost his basic conscience long ago. Hua wanted to punch him in the face, but Hua was stopped by his pregnant wife, Kaya. At this moment, everyone is watching the news on their phones, watching various videos of zombie attacks. Everyone is a bit overwhelmed. At that moment, the train came into the station. Through the window, people saw a horrible sight. People on the platform were tapping on the windows in fear. A man shouted for help, but then he was pounced on by the zombies. Then, everyone saw the bloody scene outside. Luckily, the train didn't stop at this stop. That's when the train started broadcasting. The news said that there was an emergency. The train only stopped at Ejian Station. It was said that there were soldiers guarding the station and it was very safe. Being worried, Iaku quietly went to an unoccupied carriage. He called an army friend and asked him if Ejian was really safe. He was shocked by the news he received from his longtime friend. They told him that Ajian was not safe. As soon as the train arrives, everyone will be quarantined. But he can do Iaku a favor. He told Iaku to sneak through the other exit. Finally, the train slowly pulled into Ajian station. Everyone got off the train. The station was supposed to be crowded with people. The station was empty except for them who had just gotten off the train. Everyone else was walking towards the gate. Only Iaku led Suen into a guarded passage. On the other side, everyone was taking the elevator to the plaza. People finally saw all the people standing in the square were zombies. They came straight towards the passengers. Soon, people fell in the attack or rushed to carry Yin to the stairs. Iaku also received the call. The caller told him that Ejian Station had fallen to a zombie attack. He told Iaku to take care of himself. At that moment, countless zombies attacked the people. He turned around and realized that Suen was in danger. He ran to Suen as fast as he could. Just as Suen was about to be bitten by a zombie, Hua knocked the zombie away with one punch. Iaku, who came over, grabbed Suen and ran frantically outside. A few baseball boys are still at the door to cover the retreat. Iaku was just running out when a zombie jumped on him. Just as he was about to lose his grip, a beggar put his clothes around the zombie's head and saved him. Iaku rushed out. The crowd blocked the door to the death. They managed to lock the door, but they found that the glass had started to break. They turned around and ran. The glass behind them shattered. The train had already left. Those who had escaped earlier had already boarded the train and were ready to leave. Only the three of them were left alive. UK and Iaku got on the train first. Hua ran a little slow because he was fat, but at the last moment, 
he was also pulled on the train. The people on the bus were safe for the time being. Only then did they realize that they were separated from their families. Ha called Yen's phone. It turns out they were trapped in the bathroom of carriage 13. Hua looked up and saw that they were now in carriage 9. They had to go from carriage 9 and kill the zombies in the middle to get to C.A.R.R. I.H.E. 13. The three of them didn't hesitate. People get ready! The real battle began. Hua knocked down one zombie with one punch. One by one, he killed all the zombies. Yaku and Guk, who came from behind, also joined the fight. After a tough battle, they passed through carriage 10. They came to the next carriage. UK was about to fight the zombies, but he realized that all his classmates were here, so he couldn't bear to attack them. Hua pushes him away and rushes up to attack, but before long, both he and Iyaku are in danger. That's when the train enters the tunnel. The zombies stop moving because they can't see. They take advantage of the darkness to slip away quietly. They had to pass through one more carriage to reach their families. By now, the three of them were exhausted. There were more zombies here. Good thing Hyaku is willing to use his head to figure out what to do. When the train enters the tunnel, they sneaked into the middle of the carriage. Then they used the phone to make noise to lure the zombies to the other side of the carriage. Then they took the opportunity to sneak away. In this way, they struggled to get through the carriage. Finally, they found Yen and Suen and the others. Then they continued to move to the back of the carriage. While the train entered the tunnel again, when the zombies were all blinded, they planned to climb over the luggage rack. Just after everyone arrived safely, the beggar who was standing at the end fell down. The kind-hearted Suen tried to save him, but her father pulled her back and walked over himself. Suddenly the train came out of the tunnel. Iaku rushed to push the beggar away. Everyone hid, just when the two wanted to take the opportunity to leave. But the beggar stepped on the tin can. All the zombies came after them. The moment Iaku and the beggar passed through the door. Hua hurriedly closed the door, but it was still too late. The door was stuck by the zombie's outstretched hand. Everyone on the other side rushed to the next carriage, but they couldn't open the door. It turned out that on the other side of the door was a group of selfish survivors who had tied the door with their clothes. This act cut off their hope of survival. The zombies on this side were about to come in. Iaku rushed over to help, but at that moment, Hua's hand was bitten by a zombie. When Iaku killed the zombie, Hua's hand already had a tooth mark on it. This is bad. Soon, Hua will become a zombie. Meanwhile, Yuke went completely crazy. He kept hitting the glass of the door with his heart and soul. The glass was finally broken. But just as they were about to escape, Jack was trying to close the next door. Luckily Gok stuck the door with his arm. Jack used all his strength to close the door. Others came to help. The people in the carriage went crazy. Suen shed tears of despair. She saw something worse than a zombie. Just then, the door that stopped the zombies was breaking down too. Hua asked Hyakwu to take care of his pregnant wife Kyle. Yen stood behind them and looked desperately at her husband, who was about to turn into a zombie. She burst into tears. Hyakwu, who was once cold-blooded and heartless, finally understood something at this moment. His belated apology to Hua pales in comparison. He pulls Yen and is about to leave. The glass shatters. Hua used his last life to stop all the zombies. The virus slowly consumed him until he gradually stopped being conscious. With the help of Iaku, the door was finally pushed open. He sent Suen and Kayan through. By the time he was ready to save the last old woman, it was already too late. The old woman was overwhelmed by the zombies. Iaku had to close the door to keep the zombies out. The old woman's daughter looked at her mother who was swallowed by the zombies, and couldn't accept it. Iaku knocked Jack down with a punch, and asked him why he did it. Jack is speechless. He can only accuse Iaku of being infected by the zombie virus. He also incites the others and wants to drive them all to the next carriage. The others shouted for Iaku, and the others to get out for their safety. UK asks his girlfriend he to stay in this carriage, but he says she doesn't want to stay here. The people here are scarier. That's right. Aren't these people scarier than the zombies? Iaku could only take a few people into the next carriage. After they went in, the people on the other side closed and fastened the door. The woman who had just lost her mother stood up. Then she walked towards the doorway full of zombies. Behind her, Jack saw it, but it was too late. The woman opened the door and let the walkers in. Iaku on the other side heard the screams. They tried to come over, but the door was locked by them. As the sound faded away, everything calmed down. By now, the train had already entered another city. Suddenly the train came to an emergency stop. It turned out that the road ahead was blocked. The conductor called the passengers to change trains. Jack and the steward in the washroom heard it. The worst man is still alive, and his evil continues. Jack pushed the attendant out of the train. Jack ran out alone while the zombies were biting the crew. He ran all the way and ran to the carriage where the two students were. He pushed heat to the zombie. UK found it and killed the zombie. But his girlfriend had been bitten and infected. But he didn't run away. 
Jack ran towards a train that was slowly leaving. Suddenly he tripped and fell. When the conductor went down to save him, they were both caught by walkers. Jack's leg was bitten. Then he gets up and runs away. On the other hand, Ia Ku and his group were just about to change trains. A train on fire rushed by. It knocked over the train beside them. Ia Ku was crushed under the train. In front of them were countless zombies inside the glass. Ia Ku found an exit and climbed out of it. At that moment, the glass of the train began to shatter. The zombies inside fell out, but the beggar did not hesitate to rush up and stop the zombie. He left the hope of life to Kion and so and they both left reluctantly. They remembered this kind better. Some people in suits are cowardly and selfish. Some people in racks can keep themselves to others. Yin and Suen finally escaped from under the train. Ia Ku picks up Suen and starts running with Kyle. Countless zombies chased after them. They finally climbed up the train. But the zombies behind them grabbed the handle of the train. Countless zombies were tracked along the railway track. The tracks were sparking at this point. If this continues, the train will definitely be stopped. So Iaku started to step on the hands of the zombies at the front. Finally, the zombie fell down as he stepped on it. They thought they were finally safe. But when Iaku got to the driver's side, inside the cab was Jack, who had been infected by the zombie virus. Jack saw them and came out. At that moment, he begged Iaku to take him home. But then Jack turned into a zombie and rushed directly to Kyle. Iaku had to cover his mouth in desperation. Then he was bitten on the hand by Jack. Suin cried out when he saw his father being bitten. Iaku chained himself up. He jumped down with Jack in his arms and then climbed back to the carriage with great difficulty. Looking at the wound on his hand, he knew there was not much time left for him. He took Yin and Suin to the cab. Then he looked at Suin and said his last goodbye between father and daughter. Suen begs him not to go. Iaku breaks down and cries when he hears this, but he could only pull Luen's tiny hand away from him in pain. Iaku went out and closed the cab door behind him. Suen cried and cried inside the cab, but he walked to the end of the train without looking back. He leaned against the train and cried bitterly. When he was about to lose consciousness, he remembered how Suen slept when she was born. The father smiled, then he jumped off the train. Eventually the train slowly arrived in Busan. The two of them entered a tunnel. The soldiers who were stationed there spotted them, but they couldn't be sure if they were alive or not. Just as the soldiers were about to pull the trigger, a girl's song rang out from the tunnel. They realized that these were two surviving humans. The song was meant to be sung by the girl to her father. But at that moment, it became the only hint that they were human. This is a stunning film. It's not the special effects. It's not the wave of zombies. It is in the face of disaster, when people's deep-seated evil is unleashed, and the beauty of humanity shines through you and me.